what were your thoughts about the movie uh, when you were making it and what are your thoughts now because it's it's a strange movie <laughs> it's a it's a weird movie in many senses when revenge of the ninja came out and was a success among the audience and and money wise financially so the company wanted immediately to make a sequel <laughs> they already had two let's make number three so uh, the head of the company was uh, Menachem Golan he was a director he was the producer head of the company for he called me in and he said okay Sam let's make another movie sequel and for some reason which I don't know until today I never asked him he didn't want Shokasugi to be the 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 main hero of this movie of the next movie uh and and he uh, maybe they had some problem i i don't know what i don't know what. and uh he, he he turned to me he said to me why don't we make it a woman a movie with a woman okay it's okay with me it's uh, it's his movie he's he's uh, paying me money to direct the movie <laughs> it's his product in a way but also it was a good challenge i said okay a woman is fine and and the movie moved away straight away from martial art movie to other areas that you mentioned and I'll tell you why it moved away from this uh, uh, this area when there was a script uh, uh, we took the same writer Jim Steele and I worked with him and we wrote a script for a woman but from the beginning Shokasugi was still involved in making the movie he was uh, he was part he was still working for company but the only thing that Menachem Golan didn't want him to be the main character of the script of the story. And he didn't like the idea of course that he's not the main character. But he felt that he did very well with the Revenge of the Ninja and he did. <laughs> it's true. And when he heard this idea that the woman will be a ninja, the ninja he he didn't like it. He was actually very much against it. Uh he was against it also in the level that she is the, the hero of the movie. And he said a woman cannot carry a ninja movie. A woman cannot be a ninja. She doesn't have the physical power and and the audience will not accept her, which he was right, by the way. And <laughs> and and uh, he was against it very much and he was objecting. And I was sitting with the writer with Jim Sin and how do we resolve the problem? What can we do that uh, Shokasugi will agree and he will come along and everything will be okay. And then we came up with the idea of the possession the woman uh, which eventually was uh, Lucinda Dickey she is not really a ninja and and you know by the way there were in the mythology in the Japanese mythology there are women ninja there are uh, they are usually in groups the, the little that I know about it I don't know uh, and they appear as really evil women the group of ninjas and they do all kind of things so there are women ninjas in the mythology in the Japanese mythology and even in some hong kong movies you will see a ninja woman but uh, but not a, as a main hero in a movie no uh, so we came up with this idea we said she's not really a ninja she's not trained she's possessed there is a bad ninja shokasugi will is going to be the good ninja There is a bad ninja and he dies right away in the beginning of the movie and his spirit goes into eh, into her and now we enter the the world of the movie the exorcist she's possessed by ninja. she's not a ninja and and everything she's doing is with the power of the dead ninja so shokasugi who is the good ninja eventually is really fighting the bad ninja within the body of a woman so this was good this was okay in his mind chokasugi mind everybody mind they agree now we already are moving away from traditional martial art movie and because we were there already so we needed excuse how come she has all this skill let's make her a dancer a, a instructor of uh, aerobic dancing so now we are going into the the world of the movie flesh dance so now we have flesh dance and we have uh, exorcist and there are a lot at the time also the movie polter guys came out Toby Hooper directed. I love this movie. I, I, so it was influenced very much by Poltergeist. So you elements of Poltergeist into it, and then how this has became a, such a hybrid movie of different genres together. And we are working in the script. And sometimes when you work on the script, 
you don't feel that what you are doing. You don't you don't understand the mixture, the cooking that you are doing because we didn't have time. It's not a studio that we we write a script six months, seven months. We finish everything in two weeks, two three weeks. The script is ready. <laughs> let's go. Let's make it. So you don't have time to analyze what you've done, <laughs> what you've done. And and we went and we shot this movie. At the time. For me, as a director, as, a, as somebody who has to solve so many problems in action movie, we, we don't have the time, like in a regular drama, to rehearse, to think, to take our time, to, to reflect on the script. We are working all the time in the filming, 12 hours. Then I have to go and see, and see the dailies, see the material from yesterday, another two hours. Then, then sit in the office, talk about tomorrow, another one hour. Usually, it's 16 hour day for the director. We are busy, busy. And the challenge is fantastic. I have to, to, to work with all kinds of things, with possession, with flying swords, with the exorcism, with the, with the, the room is moving, with the sucking, you know, this poltergeist, sucking everything into the cabinet, uh, fight sequences, 